are here from uh, the 77 team. If you guys all come up, and I'll recognize each one of you. At the, uh, the sophomores, juniors, and seniors are all part of that group. While they're coming up, I certainly want to thank the committee, Mr. Babbitt. I know how much work he puts in on this. And the rest of the inductees for for the opportunity to uh, be a part of this as far as the team. Uh, and I know uh, that uh, this is something that's very special to the team members, and I know the individuals. I'm going to start out with the sophomores that was on this crew. Uh, I think Mike went on one job to pass out some papers. Yeah! <laughs> and, uh, In the sophomores in that crew, uh, we, uh, and these would have been graduates of 1979. Uh, okay. First one, like Todd Todd is Gary Cooper. Gary's still local, lives in the area. He's got kids coming up through the system. Gary was an excellent first baseman. Uh, and uh, he had a fielding average of 986 throughout his career. We appreciate you very much being a part of this. Lee Cross. Lee lives in Tecumseh. Did you guys just step forward? Lee here? Okay. I, I think it's been, I haven't talked to Lee since he graduated. Uh, looked in the phone book, and there was Lee. And, uh, Lee was an outfielder on the team, and these guys, you got to understand, were sophomores, and the group of guys they had ahead of them uh, were very talented, so their, their uh, ability, playing time, wasn't as much as some of the others. But Lee was an outfielder. Uh, he played 24 games as a sophomore, excellent defense, defensive player, and a great arm. Okay. Coach Estes, I don't think I have to mention too much about Coach. Coach, uh, as you know, is what he's doing for our athletic program here. Doing a great job. Ron was one of the guys that got a baseball scholarship at the University of Toledo. And he had a career batting average of 301 and played shortstop when Tango was pitching on that team. Um, Barry Caper. Uh, Barry was a sophomore. Uh, and he was a didn't get as much playing time as he'd like because of because of, once again, he was, he was a young kid at the time, learned very well, and the last two years was his big commitment to our program. And we really appreciate Gary and the very active in our youth programs here in the community. Bill Seary. Bill uh, finally got a hold of Bill. In fact, I said, uh, I thought 76, we had uh, the furthest one to come was, was uh, Mark Sinclair. Bill come all the way from Peoria, Illinois to be here tonight. We really appreciate it, Bill. And um, Bill was one of those role players. Um, the thing with Bill is I remember he had lots of power. And when he was called on, he normally produced. Uh, it's pretty tough to get a lot of playing time when you have the talent that he had ahead of these guys. The other guy that was on the squad that I could not find him, I could not get a hold of him, and if somebody can tell me, I would appreciate it. Uh, Tim Smoke. Tim was a pitcher on that team. He was 5 2 for a career average. Um, now we go to our junior class. Um, another kid signed a pro contract in this junior class, Mike Bergmeister. Mike was 21 4, signed a pro contract with the San Francisco Giants. He now uh, lives in Australia, is a resident of Australia, and was home for a couple, three weeks this past summer. And Mike was a uh, competitor, a great pitcher, a great kid. Uh, Steve Cannon. Steve was an outfielder, Division One baseball scholarship for Southern Michigan. Uh, could run like the wind, very fast, excellent arm. And uh, uh, nowadays he would be bunting the ball a lot more than we used to then. He had lots of power. Uh, Mike French. I'm sorry to say, I believe Mike has. And uh, uh, Mike was an outfielder, and he was a big part of our ball club as well. Brian Seaberger, Brian lives in the area. Brian is not here this evening. 
but uh, Brian also, uh, he works out at the University of Michigan, still lives in the area. Brian was an outfielder on that ball club also. Donnie Spots. Donnie uh, was 12-0 uh, as a junior for us that year. Won 12 games. He held the school record for best, um, best record, 18-1 for an extended period of time. Tom has given back to the program. He's been a coach of the program. He's, uh, his son is an excellent ball player. He's got a great career at Avery College. And we appreciate what, what Tom has given to our program. Uh, another kid that was on the squad who lives in Texas, is not here, was Steve Sitter. Uh, and Steve was, was a part of it. Didn't play much. But you know what? He was a state champion. Um, going to the seniors on this ball club. Uh, Jimmy Devontier, local insurance salesman, if you want to buy any insurance. <laughs> Outfielder, was made a pitcher by Danny. Then he made him a pitcher. And Jimmy was uh, one of our co-captains, a very competitive kid. I really liked him. And he did a great job, of course. And um, uh, he's got some great stories. Uh, in fact, he, he has these stories, he was telling these stories at, at, at Bud Priest's place last night. <laughs> okay, but our catcher, Bud Priest, played at Seminole Community College after he left Seminole, he went to Eastern Kentucky, uh, was a catcher, uh, but had 770 chances in his high school career. At the field average 982. So he made probably about four or five errors at the most for that period of time. Hit 413. Came back and coached two years in the program along with Dave. And we uh, they brought a lot of a, a, a lot of uh, insight into the program. Uh, Jim Groody, Jim is not here, he was in Toledo, was an outfielder at the time. Um, he was uh, didn't get a lot of playing time, but he was an excellent team member. Once again, the nice thing about it, he is in the Hall of Fame. Uh, Dan Hatton, he left. Had a good baseball player and played with the Cubs. Uh, Dan was the first base DH. He did a great job for us. Always come to the park ready to play. Always had a smile on his face. It was fun to be around. He had two big hits in the D Cubs game that got us on that doubleheader win when we first played it. I think I remember that, did you, Dan? Might have been. <laughs> Kevin McGaffrey. Kevin could not be here. He was glad I'm being here. I think Dave, Chuck with Dave, he's like number three or four in our whole state police system. Is that correct? Yeah. And so uh, if you get a haul over, just say, hey, you know Kevin McGaffrey. And, and, uh, <laughs> Kevin was our DH. Big target when he played first base, and Dave was right at about 65 miles an hour. Had a great arm. Uh, Steve Press. Steve came in from uh, St. Clair Shores, works up there uh, with Chrysler, and uh, Steve was on the squad, um, played in the infield, hard working, good defense, and we uh, certainly appreciate Steve being back. It's been fun uh, reminiscing. Dave Wall. Dave was telling me all the time he had fun. He still holds the school record for career bunts, 38 in his career. Sacrifice bunts. 21 for one season. Still holds up the school record on that. Dave was telling me, was this in the state tournament, Dave? Or when was it? Yeah. Had, yeah. Had five bunts. The other time up, he hit a triple. <laughs> Bad as well. <laughs> Little third baseman. Um, we played him in at about 60 feet so we could make sure that Gaffy and those guys could catch the ball. They was they played first base or third base horse for uh, three years and did a great job. And then uh, Dave Bagel, one of my captains, Dave was one of the guys that signed a pro contract. Third he was a third round draftee by the Chicago Cubs. Played in the Pan American game, got his highest double A ball. 
And uh, um, it's also in our Hall of Fame here, and he's in the Central Michigan Hall of Fame. And I could go on and on and on, uh, but these guys here in class of 76 is what put Louisville on the map for baseball. I'm sorry we took so long, but by the same token, these guys deserve to do. Those other guys that were up here, those single guys, they got 10, 7, 8.